everyone, it's Taylor here. I decided to try something a little out of my usual bright, bold style, and I'll be stamping the images directly onto toffee cardstock for this project. I'm using the Scribbled Rose Cling and Clear Combo. This includes a background stamp made from red rubber on cling mount, along with clear stamps that fit perfectly inside the elements of the background stamp to add color easily. I'll also be using the Building Blocks Her, which includes our alignment squares, along with the coordinating die to cut those words out. These words can be used to personalize cards for all the different women in your life. There's mom, mother, grandma, great grandma, godmother, niece, aunt, sister, daughter, so many different words, 22 in the set altogether. I'll be using the Hello Script and Hello Backer along with the stitched oval stacklets to create a frame. I have the herringbone stencil that I'll be applying toffee ink with my blender brush, and then I'll be using the oval designer masking stencil, the larger size, applied with pixie spray and purple tape. For the image, I will be stamping in several colors, peaches and cream, guava, mulled wine, avocado, and sweet basil. And then the large background stamp will be stamped in both sea salt and sugar cube. I'll be using foam sticky strips to apply my sentiment. I'm going to start with the larger size of the oval masking stencil, applying my cardstock behind using those etched lines to make sure that oval is perfectly centered. I've taped that down with purple tape on the back of the stencil, and then I'm going to place down the stamp over the top. This is the scribbled rose stamp with the clear images that fit just perfectly inside that large background. I'm using several magnets because I don't want this to lift as I do my stamping, so make sure you have it adhered very tightly. I'm going to start by stamping with sea salt ink. It's a very light gray and it's going to provide me a guide in which to stamp the clear images. So I'm taking those clear images and I'm just going to place them on a block. I find that to be easiest. Stamping the smaller leaf in avocado, leaving that stencil in place so that it doesn't go outside of the oval. So then the sweet basil for the larger leaf and then I'm going to add peaches and cream, guava, and mulled wine for the large and small rows in the stamp set. I've stamped the different colors so they're evenly distributed across that opening and then I'm going to wipe around the outside as best I can and use sugar cube ink to stamp the background over the top. The background should be in exactly the same place that you started and those sea salt lines that we initially stamped have disappeared into the background. Now when I remove that masking stencil, you can see the beautiful masked oval pattern that we have in the middle of the cardstock. I wanted to add a little bit of interest in the background of the cardstock, so now I'm going to take the reverse negative mask from that set and place it down over the pattern that we just created using Pixie Spray. I have the herringbone stencil that I'm placing over the top and I'm going to do a little tone on tone blending with toffee ink over the toffee cardstock. Just lightly brushing ink over the stencil to create a little bit more interest in the background of the project. When I remove the stencil mask, you can see I have two patterns on this one layer project. I wanted to set those two patterns apart, so I'm going to create a frame using two stacklets from our stitched oval stacklet set. By placing those together and cutting them at the same time, I can create that frame that fits exactly around the pattern oval. Next, I've cut the Hello Script die three times from Sugar Cube cardstock and I'm adhering them on top of each other using Mono Multi Liquid Glue. This gives them a little bit of added dimension and I will then adhere them to the backer die that I cut from vellum. In order to adhere this to the project, I'll hide my adhesive behind the Hello die cut and then place it down over the patterned oval. I had several words already cut from our Building Blocks Her set, so I decided to use this one as a Hello card for my grandma. I adhered the word Grandma with a foam sticky strip, and I'm going to adhere the finished card panel to a Sweet Basil card base. I've already popped this card in the mail, and I hope you're feeling inspired to try something like it in your craft room. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.